Today, I'm happy to welcome our youngest guest. I'm calling her my junior master chef, Kate Puharic. <laughs> so what are we gonna cook today, Kate? Pizza. All right. And this is one of your favorites? Yes. I heard you make it all the time at home. Yeah. Who's your sous chef? My dad. All right, well, let's make him proud and start with our dough here. So I have some all-purpose flour, and tell me the first thing we're gonna add to it. Yeast. Yeast, all right. Let's put those little guys in. And then what do the yeast like to eat? What are we gonna add next? Sugar. All right, and sugar is the sparkly one. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> we've got both sugar and salt. Now you don't have to do this, but I actually like to kind of protect them a little bit before we throw in the salt. Want to add that? Woo! Mm -hmm. And you can go ahead and mix that, and I'll get our wet team together. I'm adding here a combination of white wine, olive oil, and water. So I'll pour this part in, and then the water. <laughs> what does it feel like? Mushy. <laughs> it's like wet cement, right? But don't worry, pretty soon we'll have delicious pizza dough. Is that getting hard to do it in the bowl? Yeah. All right, I'll help you turn it out. I have a monster hand. <laughs> All right, here, I'm gonna take over. Is this your job when you're at home cooking with your dad, or does your dad make the dough? We do it together. We do it together, just like this? Yeah. It doesn't look like much right now, but once we knead it a little bit, it'll start to come together just fine. So what are your favorite toppings for pizza? Uh, cheese and ham. Crackers ham. Crackers ham. ham. So you like the Polish ham on your pizza, right? Mm hmm Not just any Polish ham, the best Polish ham. <laughs> we are just about there. I think I could probably use a touch more of the water if you want to help me out. Thank you. It's kind of the fun part when the water just starts going everywhere and you have to get it into the dough, right? Mm hmm It's like oozing out of it. You have to catch it before it starts going off the counter edge. So do you think it tastes better when you do your own dough? Yeah, and it's more fun. And it's more fun. What's the next step now? I think we have this pretty much coming together. After you do that, you're gonna toss it in the air. Ooh, and you can do the tossing? Uh. <laughs> hey, you know what? As long as it doesn't end up on the ground or on my head, I'm okay with it. <laughs> All right, I think our dough is good to go. You want to give a smack for good luck? All right, we'll set it over here, and we'll continue with these doughs. One for you, one for me. Oh. <laughs> and then we'll grab rolling pins. So which one do you think is yours? This one. <laughs> All right, do you want a little bit of flour? Yeah. All right, there's for you. Put a little bit of flour for me. And then we'll start rolling. You know how to do this part, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Well, they are somewhat resembling pizzas. Do you want to try to do that special trick that you learned? Okay. Try to flip it. Ooh. Wait. Woo! <laughs> Oopsie. Uh -oh. That's okay. If you get a little bit of a hole, you just here. You just go like Fold that. it over. Just fold it. And then you just roll it again. That's the great thing, right? There are no mistakes. You can always fix it with pizza dough. The great thing about these homemade pizzas is they have these really cute shapes, right? It's not like a round pizza that you order. So we're going to go ahead and give you a sheet pan. Nice. We'll transfer it now. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, up on the pan. And we're gonna start with the toppings. All right, so Kate's gonna show us a very easy and kid-friendly recipe for a basic marinara sauce. We have a container of water. And just tomato paste. Yeah, so what are we gonna do with the tomato paste? And you just pour it <laughs> in there. How do you know when you have enough? Well, you can first stir it, and if it's, if it's too much, you can add more water, but if it's too liquid, you can add more paste. So what do you think we need? More, more paste or more like water? More paste. All right, you tell me when to stop. Okay, that's good. I like your little whisk. You come prepared, huh? I think it needs to be smaller. <laughs> and when you've stirred it all, you add a little oregano. What's that gonna do? It's gonna make it taste better. All right. So once you've added the oregano, you add a pinch of salt. Now we're gonna add that onto the pizza? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can go first. 
<laughs> oh, you know what? I'm gonna do a different sauce on mine, so that's all you. Okay. I'm actually gonna be using burrata on mine. So instead of making like a white sauce, I'm just gonna be using this cheese and tearing it apart. It's gonna have just enough liquid and then that cheese to form the base for my pizza. I'm just crumbling it with my fingers and spreading the sauce all across, just like you're doing with your marinara sauce. And I like a little on my crust. You like a little on the edges? Yeah. That's the good stuff, especially when the cheese is baked right on the edge of the crust. Mm -hmm. So delicious. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> all right, spread this out. So I'm using burrata in this because it's a cheese with that kind of cream on the inside of it. This is a great and quick substitution for using a mozzarella cheese and then like a creme fraiche or a, a white sauce in addition to the cheese. It's kind of a one-stop shop. All right, you are going all over the crust with your <laughs> sauce. I think we have enough. Yeah, I accidentally <laughs> poured too much. I'm gonna move this to the side, and I think you should get started with your cheese. What kind of cheese do we have here? Mozzarella. Is that your favorite? Yes. How much do you usually like to put on? A lot. A lot? <laughs> Just like your sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Not the prettiest pizza, but it tastes good. It looks so pretty. Are you kidding me? We've got the white and the red. And then you got those little flecks of oregano. I think it's a gorgeous pizza. So I'm gonna set this to the side, and while you're keeping going with your cheese, mm -hmm. I'm gonna start on the next component of my pizza. Okay. I have here some oyster mushrooms. So I'm just going to kind of roughly chop them. There's no need to pre-cook. You'll just wanna rinse them, make sure they're nice and clean. Do you wanna start cutting your ham while I'm cutting the mushrooms? Okay. I pile the ham on top of each other and then I cut them into little slices. That's a great Junior Master Chef trick you have there. Thank you. <laughs> and then I have, I was showing you these before. How cute are these? <laughs> they look like the mushrooms from Fantasia, don't they? <laughs> so these are the same as the mushrooms I chopped before. They're just a little bit of a more mature variety. So they're gonna have a different texture, a different depth of flavor but still kind of keeping, I'm going to be adding truffles and truffle oil to this pizza once it's out of the oven. So I want to make sure that the mushrooms I'm using are a little bit milder in flavor and they're not going to overpower the final parts of my dish. How is your pizza going? Good. Yeah. Are you making a smiley face? Okay. <laughs> Ta -da. There we go. It's kind of a messed up smiley face. It's okay. We'll just make sure that we get ham all covering it so you get that nice Polish ham in every bite. I like it, we have here our two pizzas kind of representing different parts of Polish cuisine. You have yours with the Polish ham, and then I've got mine with the traditional kind of Polish mushroom. Are you good to go? Should we say goodbye to these and leave them in the oven for a few minutes? Yes. All right, you gonna help me with yours? We'll bring them over. There's a right down there, perfect. All right, Kate, how long should we wait before checking on those pizzas? Uh, about 10 minutes. Sounds good. Just enough time to snack on some ham, right? Yes. <laughs> Our pizzas just came out of the oven. I'm going to help you get yours off the pan. And I'll grab mine real quick. So you have your final touch. What are you going to be putting on yours? Oregano. Beautiful. And that was what we put in the sauce a little bit earlier, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be adding a little bit of arugula just for that bright green color. And since I was using mushrooms in my pizza, I'm going to add a very gourmet touch and top it with some fresh black truffles. And a little bit goes a long way with these. So I'll just take some nice, delicate shavings. And now to heighten the flavor, I'm just gonna add a little splash of white truffle oil right on top. And you can really smell that. It smells very earthy, doesn't it? Earthy and like mushroom perfume. I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> you wouldn't wear this cologne or perfume. So as you can see, this pizza is definitely geared more towards grown-ups. And then this is our kid-safe version. How do we get to eat it? <laughs> Thank you to my junior master chef, Kate Puharich, for helping me share our gourmet and kid-friendly rustic pizza.